and welcome along to Doz's Television Workshop. Today we're in the car looking at the uh, speedometer we've been developing um, that's going to replace the mechanical speedo in my classic mini. Uh, we're obviously not in a classic mini because uh, it hasn't got any brakes or suspension yet. Uh, we're in a Citroen C1 but we've got uh, the equipment uh, connected up in the, in the car so we'll take it out for a spin. Uh, let's just have a look at the equipment we've got. Okay, so uh, here we've got the speedometer, modified with a step motor driving the pointer and the little uh, OLED display uh, displaying the mileage. Uh, just to the right there, we've got uh, the LCD. It's just a 1602 um, with I squared C interface. Uh, that's there as uh, going to replace the ashtray on the Classic Mini. Um, where we can uh, look at a few bits and pieces of data. Uh, the speed will be read out digitally there as well. Um, temperature, battery voltage, and a clock, uh, which automatically adjusts for uh, summertime as well here in the UK. Uh, it's all driven by this box of electronics down here. Um, so ooh, let's just steady the camera a little, if I can. Could be difficult, there we go. So. There are four DIN connectors on the top. There's a three pin. This side is the temperature sender, uh, which is on the floor down there somewhere. Eventually, I want to mount that at the front of the car. This is the multifunction display. This uninsulated job here is the um, speedo head itself. So that carries data for the display and the control information for the motor. And this one here is linked up to the GPS receiver. Currently, it's all running off this uh, cigarette lighter job down here and that nasty bit of chalk block. Um, we're not currently using the um, proper power supply where it senses which voltage is available and switches appropriately uh, between the switched ignition supply and the permanent supply. Um, so what that means is the voltage display will be reading a little low uh, because there's a diode in the way on the multifunction display that will just be reading a little bit low and also the mileage on the speedo head itself uh, won't be being updated. It'll update, but it won't save. Let's get that right. Um, yep, so there we have it. GPS in a lovely little Hammond box there. It was quite a tight fit, but it did go in and it works really well. Also, I'm going to try and get in shot this device here, which is a Garmin. Let me just switch the ignition on. There we go. Which is a Garmin head up display. Hopefully that'll pair up now. There we go. So that'll give you a readout in miles an hour at the bottom there as well. I might even try and do a a bit of a um oh what do they call it? Picture in picture. We'll stick something up in the corner of the actual journey. So let's have a little look at the display here. Let's see if we can get that in shot. Notoriously difficult to record these things. Well that doesn't look too bad. There we go, 16.2 degrees C. Excellent British summer. You'll see that, let me you notice that, the clock said 9.18 and it just shifted to 10.18. That's because the satellite's just updated the date and it knows we're British summer time, so it's just added an hour on. See the antenna symbol there and we've got about two bars of signal and the little L there in the top left here. Uh, that um, just shows we've got a satellite lock. We're currently stationary. Um, we're about 12.7 mm, volts. So I say that'll be reading a little bit low and obviously Oh, LED, look at that display, sharp as you like. Um, that's showing we've got 63,916 miles on the clock. Right, let's go out and have a little trip. So there we go, start her up. The display is currently loading. There we go. There any second. Okay, display updates. Okay, so the clock's already set because we've previously had a lock recently. So uh, the satellite lock any minute, and we should get any should do a speed reading. All right, there we go. Okay, and we're away. So the MFD is giving us our speed, as is our mechanical speedo. I suspect the camera might move about a little bit as we're travelling. It's uh, mounted in the sunroof, so I don't just want to have that open. So, one, I hope it doesn't rain, and two, I do hope it uh, the sound isn't too bad. It might be a bit of a bit blowy.
okay so uh, my Garmin has us at uh, 33, 34 miles an hour this has us at 32, 33, there we go and they're both reading exactly the same see the mechanical display there reading good too I believe the camera hasn't swung around yet. Alright, let's get some speed up. We're just uh, entering a de restricted road now. Pull in. There you go. Gives you a good demo of oh, the speed on the Let's go on. Thanks for watching.